Okay, another quick video on the three-axis CNC machine progress. Everything is wired up and in the cabinet, as you can see. Kind of back up here. And I'm setting at uh, X0, Y0, Z home position right now. So I'm back just off the new limit switches. So pretty much, you can see here's a limit. And there's your magnet. And here's the Y. Of course, I've got one down there on the... On the positive end, this is the negative sensor right here. Negative sensor, negative sensor for X, positive sensor, and then here is the standalone controller. So when you first start the standalone controller, what has to happen is you can see, I'll zoom in on the screen, uh, see the reset flashing? So what, what's the first thing you have to do is either push this reset button or the external reset button. And when you push it in, it'll go off, and when you pop it back out, now it says ready. So now that it's ready, we can use the arrows to jog the machine. So you got your Y, positive, negative, your X, negative, positive, and then your Z. Now there's also extended buttons on here like home, enter, cancel, modify, so forth. So to activate the home or the, the extended keys, which is very important because that's how you zero your axis, um, what you do is you actually have to hit the shift key. And when you hit the shift key, you'll notice right now we're in continuous jog. Upper left-hand corner says C-O-N-T, the continuous jog mode. So if I hit the shift key now, you see it says second. That is your extended key mode. So now that I'm in the home position, I want to make all of those at zero. So if I was my fixture or my part. So what you do is you'll hit the zero button, but you have to be on the extended where it says second at 2ND second up in the upper left hand corner. You'll press zero, press it once. And then when you press it the second time, everything zeroes out, right? Okay, so let's jog the machine. I'm going to use my right arrow to jog the machine to the right. And I'm going to come over and hit this limit switch, and then I'll show you what to do to, uh, to get off your limits. It's very simple. But. So let's run it across. And incidentally, we are running 85 inches a minute. Okay, we're about to hit the limit, and boom, there it is stop so now we no longer can move we're just locked we can't do anything nothing will move but you can move off of it by just hitting your key so you can come off your limits it's configured so no worries it's nice to have those I don't have to worry about crashing and the machine does not miss steps with this controller when you run into your limits so no worries there either I like that feature now if you want to back off a little slower to get as close to the limit as you can to set your zero then what you want to do here is hit the mode switch and press mode until you see MPG manual pulse generator that is this pulse wheel so right now I'm moving it I'm cranking this pulse wheel and look what axis is moving the Z I'm moving the Z down now if I go all the way up on the Z I hit that limit, now I'm going to back off of it a little bit, I'll show you close up here. Boom, hit the limit, now I'm backing off. Alright, now let's get off the X limit. So I need to go over here to my selector switch, which I do not have labels on yet, and I need to switch axes. Okay, that appears to be, that's actually the Y axis. So I'm going to back, watch this one. And now we're on that limit, I'm going to back off, there we go. So I need to switch that one more time. That's the Z. Switch it again. There, that's the X. All, all you really have to do is look down here at the bottom. It'll tell you what you're on. On the, on the limits. So it says my X axis negative limit is triggered right now. So to get off that, we just need to move off that axis. And there you go. See if I come back to it. All right. Now, to zero everything out, 
once again you're gonna hit your you're gonna hit your shift I'm trying to do this on the fly here bear with me shift and when that says second in the upper left hand corner there of the controller now you can come down here to zero press it once press it a second time and you're zero all right let's jog the machine now right now I'm in I'm in the manual pulse wheel I don't want to use that to jog a long way so what I'm going to do is switch the mode key so I'll press the mode key until that changes back to continuous jog now we can use the arrows to jog the machine and there we go jogging away and I'm not worried about hitting any limit switches or because I'm using uh, I'm actually using not mechanical switches but the uh, you know like uh, hall sensors or inductive proximity switches they require a magnet to pick up so if you put a piece of metal in front of it it won't it won't react to that which to me is a good thing having these out in the open like this so I'm pretty pleased with the limit switches and the overall machine is uh, is looking pretty decent so stay tuned for some test cutting next thanks for watching